How's it going, guys? DJ Johnny Aftershock. We've been getting quite a bit of few calls over in the tech support department about how to use time code vinyl with your 10 MXR right through Virtual DJ. So I want to make a small little tutorial for you guys. First thing first, you want to go ahead and you have to update your 10 MXR, 14 MXR, or 19 MXR. You have to do a firmware update. So first thing you want to do is head over to American Audio's website. You can find us at adjaudio.com. You're going to click on the MXR series of controllers. You're going to pick and choose which one you have, 10, 14, or 19. I have the 10, so that's what I'm going to pick. Then you're going to scroll down till you find the download. It's going to be Virtual DJ DVS Time Code Support for Mac. Once again, guys, this is only for a Mac. If you are using a PC, the Osseo driver should compensate for it. You should have no problem whatsoever. So once again, this is just for a Mac. I myself am using a MacBook Pro 13-inch. And I am using it with, I'll show you right now, 10.6.8. I have a 2.4 GHZ, Intel Core 2 Duo, 8 GB of memory. You know, it's an older Mac. It's nothing powerful. It's nothing brand new. But uh, either way, you still have to update the firmware. So let's get busy. Click on that. You're going to go ahead and see this. You're going to go ahead and download it. Save the file to some place where you can find it easily. I just drop it right on my desktop. It's quick. Super fast downloads, and here is the file right here. So within this file, you're gonna find the software, which is the firmware update. All right, so the firmware update is right there. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert that disk that came with your 10 MXR that came in the box. You're gonna go ahead and uh, load that in, and then within that disk, you're gonna click on the Mac folder, and then you're gonna find this little folder within that Mac folder. It's a firmware update tool. So you're going to go ahead and double click on that, drag it to your um, desktop out of the software uh, DVD or disk onto your desktop. And it's an ADJ firmware uploader. Double click on that. This will open up right here. It says, Welcome to the firmware upgrade utility. It says, Please select a device. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to pick my 10MXR. I'm going to click on this box right here. I'm going to browse. I'm going to find my folder with my, it says time code MXR10. It'll have the update in there. I'm going to click open and upload firmware. So it says right there in big letters, please do not disconnect this device while the firmware is uploading, guys. So let it do its thing. It's going to take maybe about a half a minute uh, while it does its thing and updates the firmware for your MXR. And there we go. We got a message that says upgrade complete. Please unplug and replug your device. I would even go so far as to go ahead and just turn off the device altogether, guys, and then turn it back on. All right. So we're going to go ahead and give it a test with the uh, virtual DJ and time code. Okay, guys. So you have officially updated the firmware on your 10MXR, which is absolutely crucial if you want to use time code vinyl uh, with your 10MXR. So you're going to go ahead and open up uh, Virtual DJ. Okay, we brought that up. As you can see, it has the American Audio 10MXR skin, a skin that was specially made for American Audio for the 10MXR by Virtual DJ. Now, the way to do this is you want to go ahead and head into your config. Okay, and the settings you want is to have time codes, which is channel 1, 2, deck 1, slash channel 3 and 4, deck 2. So if you look at it, it's the very first one. All right, so you want that one to be checked off. Next thing you want it under an external mixer. And that's going to be, of course, the first one as well. Okay. And then you want to choose um, 10MXR. So once you, uh, you know, go to this little arrow here and bring it down, it's going to say built-in output or 10MXR. Obviously, you want the 10MXR. And you're going to hit apply. Okay. And then you could go ahead and load a song off right from the MXR, uh, the load B button. You hit that, or you could scroll down with your navigational knob, and you could uh, load up a song right through the MXR, which is really freaking cool. Okay, and you just hit that and load, and you get your Serato vinyl on there. All right, you're all set, guys, and you are now rocking vinyl without a sound card. You're just basically going right out of the MXR using Serato uh, time code vinyl with Virtual DJ. Okay, so you're, once again, we're using Virtual DJ here, but uh, we suggest that you use uh, any any type of uh, 
Serato uh, time code vinyl usually works best, all right? See, sounds pretty good too. Pretty good tracking. Enjoy, guys. <laughs>